astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for physical or psychiatric health care. If this is an emergency situation or you are in crisis, please do not defer your wellness to readings or horoscopes. Seek situation-appropriate, qualified assistance instead. Hi there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting November 7th, 2022. And just a quick reminder, if you are watching your rising sign forecast, remember your rising sign is giving you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And your moon sign, well, that's showing you the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that is also playing out throughout the course of the week. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, your big spiritual theme or the big focus is the sun, upright, which is all about play, peace, purity, wholesome simplicity, and bringing in more comfort, joy, and levity into all corners of your life. The sun tends to show up when there is a time of relaxing everything, uncomplimenting situations that have gotten way too wound up or way too overcomplicated to even be practical, while also bringing in a bit of a purifying element with it. A lot of the times the sun can also do a number on all corners of our life at the same time, bringing in all of that joy, levity, comfort, ease, and grace, but also stirring up and clearing out a lot of the shadows that may be haunting those corners of our lives as well. This can sometimes be a weird week with the sun because it's all about the peace, the love, getting everything in its perfect order. Yet at the same time, the process may not necessarily feel all that comfortable to everyone else. Stay the course, let the sun do its work. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family, you do have the Queen of Wands reversed. And this week, there may be a bit of an uphill battle that you can win as it relates to challenging something that was brought forth into being that has been a source of harm, a source of strife, or a source of lack in a workspace situation, a financial situation, or a matter relating to home or family or your living situation. The Queen of Wands reversed is uh, presenting a message about something that has been around for a while, something that maybe was enacted in the past. This may have been done with your leave or something done uh, by another person or maybe something that we thought was going to be good that turned out to not be so good. More often than not, the Queen of Wands reversed can show up where something has gone bad and it was going to go bad, and the only reason it looked good was because of manipulation, deceit, or pressure. Now, the Queen of Wands reversed and the Sun are indicating, we don't need to live with this anymore. Go, don't have to work with this anymore. Don't got to tolerate it anymore. However, it may still stir up some drama, right, as we get this shadow, the Queen of Wands reversed, out of this space. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you do have the Five of Swords reversed. And this card reversed is all about bringing, bringing in peace, but also at the same time closing a distance, closing a gap, or closing a hole that has been made by some kind of distance, rift, or conflict. Now, this could be something going on between you and another person that is getting patched up. If you had a fight or a falling out with maybe a friend or a relative or a collaborator, or this could be not necessarily anything relating to a fight or a falling out, but closing the distance and healing a rift or some kind of space that occurred between you and someone you care about, even though you're on very good terms with one another. More often than not, the Five of Swords reversed is sealed with some kind of act of contrition, reparations, or a gift. And even if it is a situation where you don't really want to spend a lot of time with this person, say it was a falling out, at least be ready to receive the gift. When it comes to your challenge this week, you do have the Ten of Wands upright. And with the Ten of Wands upright, this is going to be a week where we do need to see, as per the sun, where do we need to start simplifying and maybe doing some selective reduction 
to get a load off our backs. The Ten of Wands upright is always giving a warning about things being too hot to handle, too high maintenance, too expensive, or too time consuming to be practical. A lot of the times the Ten of Wands can show up as a challenge where we need to be willing to let go of things that we have no business giving any more to as well as deciding how we want to distribute ourselves more fairly with our time and our space and those around us. Sometimes the Ten of Wands asks us to see where something only pretends to be noble or pretends to be worthy or pretends to be profitable, but it's just too much work to actually be so. It's too hard, it's too high maintenance, and so on. This could be a project, an investment, or a person, but the Ten of Wands upright says, gotta take another tack with this situation. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, we do have the Four of Pentacles reversed. And this is a week where a lot of walls are coming down in love. The Four of Pentacles reversed can indicate something that was either keeping you bound or confined or trapped is no longer there. This can be great news, especially for those of you that maybe have been feeling like your love life has been under the thumb of maybe something going on outside of you, outside of your household, whether it's been controlling your finances, controlling your availability or your space, however it goes. With the Four of Pentacles reversed, it is getting let go this week. You may be finding that you and maybe a love interest or a partner or a spouse are now free to move ahead with something that was maybe being blocked or confined, or maybe even old business, whether it's old financial business, old family business, or old relationship business, is also getting expunged. And this is a green light for a lot of new relationship stories to begin. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, you know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.